I think we all knew that one day Apple would move towards offering us professional apps and programs at a subscription price point, but I for one never expected it to be this affordable. Apple just announced Apple Creator Studio, a single $12.99 slash £12.99 per month or $129 slash £129 per year subscription that gives access to its professional creative apps across Mac and iPad, like Final Cut Pro and Pixelmator. And for music creators, this includes Logic Pro for Mac and iPad and a refreshed version of Mainstage for Mac. This is a massive change to how Apple sells its creative software. Instead of treating each app as its own separate product with separate pricing, Apple is now positioning them as part of a broader ecosystem aimed at active creators who work across devices. And look, I know what you're thinking, who needs another subscription? But not only could the stuff included in this bundle replace several other subscriptions you may be paying for separately, Apple are also continuing to offer standalone purchases of the included Mac apps like Logic, Final Cut, Pixelmator and Mainstage. And it's also worth noting that if you've previously bought any of these apps outright in the past, you'll receive all the same updates at the same time as the subscription versions do. A link to the full newsroom announcement below so you can peruse it at your leisure. But something that stood out to me immediately is how Apple talks about Logic Pro. There is no longer a divide really it seems between Logic Pro for Mac and Logic Pro for iPad. The Creator Studio unlocks both under a single subscription with no better or worse option implied between desktop and tablet versions. Now, Logic Pro for iPad still doesn't have 100% feature parity with Logic Pro for Mac. I'll talk about that a little bit in a future video about Logic Pro for iPad. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. But this approach seems like Apple is treating both as equally valid tools rather than primary and secondary apps. Which makes me wonder about those who have an existing subscription to Logic Pro for iPad. Apple doesn't spell this out line by line in the press release, but the inclusion of Logic Pro and Final Cut Pro on iPad inside Creator Studio strongly suggests that the standalone iPad subscriptions, which are currently $5 slash £5 a month or $49 slash £49 per year for these apps may cease to exist. Like I said, this isn't stated explicitly in the announcement, so we'll just have to wait and see how this works out when the Creator Studio subscription lands on January the 28th. Something that isn't mentioned at all is GarageBand for Mac or GarageBand for iOS. Now, both versions just received updates over the last few weeks, so I mean, they're definitely sticking around. So that tells me that GarageBand will just remain free and separate from the Creator Studio subscription. There's no indication that features are moving behind a paywall or being folded into any kind of subscription price. So you can breathe easy, GarageBand users. This is all good. Don't panic. Beyond music production, Apple Creator Studio also pulls in a set of supporting tools that definitely sweeten the deal, especially for creators who handle more than just audio. On the Mac side, Motion and Compressor are included. Motion is integrated with Final Cut Pro and is used for titles, transitions and motion graphics, while Compressor handles advanced export, encoding and delivery workflows. You're also obviously getting your hands on Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Pro for iPad in this bundle, both of which are exceptionally good video editing programs. The bundle also includes Pixelmator Pro on Mac and the all new iPad version. Pixelmator Pro is a great kind of middle ground between Photoshop and Canva. That'll work great for musicians who want to design thumbnails, album artwork, social posts, etc. This entire subscription costs less than what I pay Adobe each month to access Photoshop, so I'll be really interested to see if I can replace that with Pixelmator Pro and save myself some cash. Finally, Apple is adding what it calls intelligent features and premium content for free apps, keynote, pages and numbers with Freeform joining later. These are apparently extra features on top of what is already available, so users of the free versions of these apps aren't losing anything if they don't go for this subscription. And I mean, you might 
not want to. Subscription fatigue is a very real thing, especially nowadays. I think Apple had to price something like this really aggressively to compete with what a lot of their competitors are doing. And I mean, I think in that regard, they've absolutely nailed the pricing here. The education pricing in particular is astonishingly good value. If you're at school or at college or uni, or if you teach at one of those, you can get all of the Mac and iPad software in this bundle for $3 slash three pounds a month. That's just mental. Even at the regular subscription price, this is an absolute steal for most people, especially as you can use family sharing with up to five other family members at no extra charge. In terms of compatibility, it looks like you'll need to be running macOS 26, iPadOS 26 and iOS 26 to make use of all the features, but it's worth noting that the minimum iPad model requirements for Logic Pro for iPad haven't changed here. You'll still be able to run it on any iPad with the Apple A12 Bionic chip or later, though I'd probably not recommend doing that and make sure you're running it with an iPad with an M1 chip or later, to be honest. So what do you think? Let me know if you're excited at the prospect of yet another monthly subscription down in the comments. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful and make sure you subscribe for more information on what to expect from this subscription bundle as we get closer to that January 28th release date. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.